Welcome back to Google Guru. So yesterday the Gmail team announced that they would be rolling out a new Gmail inbox. So our accounts were actually updated today to allow us to configure the new inbox. So I was just gonna show you guys how you could get the new inbox and just walk you through what it is. This new inbox is being touted as an inbox that puts you back in control. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that means and how you can use it. So first you're gonna click on the settings gear on the right hand side of your screen. And then you're gonna click on configure inbox. So when this appears, you'll be able to set exactly which one of these tabs that you want. So if you're familiar with the Smart Labels lab, you'll remember that Gmail automatically assigns labels to messages that it recognizes as certain types. So in this case, it's automatically recognizing social messages, promotions, updates, and forums. You have the option to just stick with primary or you can add the rest of these tabs. So if you look here, it gives you some examples, and these are actually examples of your own messages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of them right here. I'll select all five, and I'll also include starred messages in my primary tab. So then I'll click Save, and then we'll get a look at the new inbox. So then I have this new welcome screen welcoming me to my new inbox and kind of giving me this little introduction to these new tabs like I just talked about, so okay, I got it. And so you can see here, it's automatically sorted my messages into these new tabs. So this is my primary tab, which houses all of the messages that don't really fall into these other categories. So these are, you know, my just normal work-related emails and stuff like that. So if I click on social, I'll see I have these messages from YouTube and Google Plus. Promotions, I have some messages from other companies, these are maybe, you know, newsletters that you signed up for or things of that nature. And then the updates tab will include just the random periodic updates that you may get. This can include these spreadsheet notifications or updates from applications you may be using for your domain. And then the forums tab just gives me all these notifications from the different forums I'm a member of. So there's a couple other things that you can do with this new inbox you have the ability to actually right click on a message and then assign it to one of your tabs. And then you can also archive, delete, or mark as read. So this is a new feature. You've never really been able to right click on a message like this. You can also drag and drop a message into one of your tabs. This is just another way to you know easily sort and categorize your messages. And then like I said before, you have the option to select which tabs to align and either enable all of them or, you know, just select three of them or, you know, however many you might want. Of course, if you don't really like the new Gmail inbox interface, you can always revert back to your old inbox type. So to do that, we'll just go click back on the settings gear and then go into settings and then we'll click on inbox. And instead of selecting default, you can select whichever one you were using previously. So I'll just go ahead and select unread first go down and click save changes one thing to keep in mind which i couldn't really show on this account was that if you're using the multiple inboxes lab you may have some trouble going back to your previous interface so for example if you're using multiple inboxes and you try out the new gmail inbox and then try to switch back you may run into some problems it looks like there's not really an option to revert back to the basic inbox type which is what you need to use the multiple inboxes lab so we're gonna keep looking and see if there's a way to work around that and we'll keep you guys updated. So that's an introduction to the new Gmail inbox. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the new Gmail inbox, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video or ask us on Google+. Thanks a lot.